yesterday at 6 o'clock. That's right, more than 20 years after Tammy Suburbs' murder, the man police say killed her stood in front of a judge. Fox 59's Nick McGill joining us now in studio for an in-depth look at how police actually made this big break, Nick. Yeah, that's right, guys. Tammy Serber was murdered in 1995, but facing a growing number of cases and running out of leads, investigators had to put the case aside. But after receiving a tip in January, they say they were able to break that case wide open. Now, Carl Tyler is now charged in the murder of Tammy Serber. For years, detectives say they didn't have the ability to connect anybody to the case. DNA testing done in 2011 helped them identify Tyler as a possible suspect, but detectives say it never actually proved he did anything until this January when a witness came forward with a recording of Tyler admitting to his involvement that led to his arrest and murder charge. He appeared in front of a judge today for initial hearing. And while this is something detectives say they celebrate, they say it's not over until it's over. I go forward with what I believe in my heart, and I believe this man's responsible for the death of Tammy Serber. But until we have a resolution where they hold him accountable, for me, uh, it's not over. Yeah. Tammy Serber's daughter is also reacting to the latest development, telling us in a statement that while they look forward to the consequences of this. They know that this case is far from over. They said they're thankful for an arrest being made, but they know that it's just the beginning, adding that they will remain united throughout the case and be their mother's voice as it was taken away from her. Now, Carl Tyler is due back in court in May. The daughters say they will be there at those hearings. Reporting in the studio, Nick McGill, Fox 59 News. Okay.